In Nigeria, we have a saying, no food for lazy man, which insinuates that if you're not hardworking, you're not going to get anything in life. And unlike other countries, we don't have financial aid or the government systems to help us. So our success is solely based on our own efforts. My name is Tudna Kiyangure. I'm an 18-year-old designer and artist. I come from a family of five with my older and younger brother, my mom, and my dad. I own my own clothing brand called TAC, which stands for Tudun Akin Clothing. I started my brand at the age of 14 in 2017. That was the year when I stopped believing in practice because I discovered passion with practice. Some of you may be wondering what I mean by that. So to help you understand what I said, I'd like to ask you a question. Have you ever heard of the phrase, practice makes perfect? Coaches, trainers, teachers often say it to their players or students to help them improve in one area or the other. But what is practice? When do we do it? Why do we do it? How do we do it? My definition of practice is a constant repetition of an activity with the purpose of improvement to achieve a final goal. Now, practice can take many forms. For a tennis player, it could be working on their forehand or backhand for two to three hours a day. For a basketball player, it could be improving their shooting ability. For a math student, it could be learning equations to apply them on an exam. Or for a YouTuber, it could be working on an introduction to grasp an audience. Now, I'd like to ask you another question. Have you ever practiced for something where you felt that you couldn't give your all, you couldn't give your best? There was something missing to push you to go the extra mile, to take one step further. What was it that was missing? To answer that, I'd like to tell you a story. Growing up, the only thing I had to practice for consistently was school. But doesn't school sometimes feel like a contract designed by our parents? They put us there, tell us it's for our future. And if we succeed and get good grades, we get benefits, such as watching TV over the weekday or going to see a friend over the weekend. But if we don't succeed and we don't get good grades, we don't get any of those benefits and we have to study and work even more. For the longest time, that's how I felt about school. My drive was solely based on getting those benefits because they dictate how fun my life is going to be. And I know some of us are going through a similar experience. I passed all my classes and I sometimes finished in top 10 or top five, but I never felt like I gave my best because my drive didn't originate from my own desires. But everything changed when I discovered passion. Passion can be seen or be touched. It's felt. It is that burning desire to do something. It's what keeps you up late at night or makes you forget to eat. It's what gets you fired up in the morning or when it's time to work. It is the reason why I'm here today. Now, I previously said, coaches often say practice makes perfect. But along the lines, they also ask, where's the fire? Where's the passion? Because practice alone isn't enough to make perfect. You need passion. Now, I'd like you to think of a time when you are working on something that you are passionate for. Think about your practice and how you felt. Did you just wake up in the morning, get to work, do what you needed to do? and you were done? Or were you fired up, pushing yourself to go the extra mile, work extra hours, trying to do something incredible? 
That's what passion does. And that's what it did for me. In 2017, my friends got the idea to start a clothing brand and they invited me to join them. At first, it was just fun. It was just like a hobby, designing t-shirts and imagining what they would look like in person. We talked about printing the shirts, selling them and becoming successful. However, along the lines, one friend lost interest in the idea and another friend went solo. Although I was alone, it was just as fun. And I still liked the idea of creating and selling clothes. So I pursued the idea and I got my brand name. Then one month later, my uncle connected me to a printing company. And I started to believe that my imagination could become a reality. And it did. A few months later, my first ever t-shirt was printed. I remember the day I saw the t-shirt and I remember the intense, indescribable feeling. Don't we all want to feel that way? Don't we all want our dreams to come true? From that moment, I felt a strong, compelling force urging me to keep on creating. My imagination became my reality. And I wanted every day to be like that. So I made it happen. Since then, I've probably made about 30 plus designs. But every time I see a new one, it feels just like the first time. Once you start something you love, you never want to stay at the same level. That's how I felt. So every time I create a new design, I want it to be more interesting, more colorful. I wanted to print on different types of garments, sweatshirts, shorts, jeans. I wanted to sew my own clothes from scratch. I was getting all these crazy ideas and I wanted to bring to life. But in order to do that, I had to practice. I did. And my results were far greater than I expected. In 2018, I designed a t-shirt for the president of France, Emmanuel Macron when he was visiting my school during his time in Nigeria. I presented him with a t-shirt. We shook hands. We hugged. And he said it was incredible. In his own words, Mais euh, c'est incroyable. Then he called me an inspiration for this generation and the next. A year later, I designed a t-shirt for former Governor General of Canada, Michel Jean. What makes passion with practice so special is that it enables you to give your all. It enables you to sacrifice parties and gatherings to spend time in work. It enables you to get into a zone and train for endless hours. And even when things don't go your way and things get hard. You're able to get back up and smile and keep moving forward. Because despite everything that's going on, you know there's nothing else you'd rather be doing. What makes passion with practice so special is that you can have an impact on others. People aren't just inspired by results. They want to know the story behind it. And when you tell someone a passionate story, they're transformed to do the incredible, just like you. That's what passion with practice does. That's what passion with practice is. Now, some of you may be wondering, all of this sounds great, but how do I find my passion? My answer to that is, I have no clue. Your coaches have no clue. Your parents have no clue. But my hope is that from my story and from my experience, when you do find or discover something, you'll be able to identify if it's your passion or not. 
So I hope you find your passion because I want you to practice with passion. And trust me, I know you want it to. So you can practice as many times as you want, but practice will never give you the results of passion.